we'll be discussing in this video on reading numbers on abacus also quickly we'll recap as per the last video mainly components of abacus frame types of beads and place value of digits also we'll be discussing in details reading one digit numbers on abacus reading two digit numbers reading three digit numbers and reading four digit numbers and so on you're most welcome on mpg learning channel my name is sonel and i'm certified abacus trainer start on the quick recap component of abacus frame so there are mainly four components frame bar the horizontal line columns the vertical lines beads and dots so we can choose any of the dot when we start identifying the number on abacus type of beads and their value so there are two type of beads upper beads which are ups, upper side of the bar and each bead has value 5 lower beads uh, beads which are in the lower side of the bar and each bead has value 1 place value of digits uh, like 1 stands hundreds and thousand so let's start from this dot uh, the vertical line representing column is 1s, second one is representing 10s, third one is representing 100 and fourth one is representing 1000s. So in this way we can identify 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s digits where all the digits will be coming on abacus. We will discuss how to write the numbers in the next part of the video. numbers on average so how to write zero okay so as you see uh, the column we are considering in the red rectangle so if you see there is no beat towards the bar so this is called zero if there is no beat near the bar it means the value is zero how to write one on abacus okay if you see the ones place value and one bead has gone towards the bar so now this value on the abacus is one how to write two now you will see two beads are moving towards the bar so the value is 2 and these you can see these are the lower beads which are moving towards the bar. Look 3 beads are moving towards the bar and these are the lower beads and each bead has value 1 so 3 beads towards the bar so value is 3. four so now four beads have moved towards the bar so value is four now five how to write five so now upper bead has moved towards the bar okay so now the value is five now we'll see how to write six now look two beads have moved towards the bar one is upper bead and another is lower bead so value total is one plus five that is six how to write seven one bead from the upper side and two bead from the lower side have moved towards the bar which are making value seven two plus five equals seven eight so similarly one upper bead and three lower beads are moving towards the bar which are making the value 8. 
I have to write 9, 1 up, upper bead and 4 lower beads moved towards the bar and value is 9, 4 plus 5 equals 9. Now we will be discussing how to make two digit numbers. So now you can see how the 10 has been made. On the 10th place, one digit has moved toward the bar and on one column, there are no beat moved towards the bar. So it becomes 10. Now we can read it 10 or we can say 10. How to write 11. So one bead from 10th place and one bead from 1's place towards the bar and value is 11. How to write 51 say? So one bead at 10th place and that is upper bead has moved toward the bar and lower bead at one's place has moved towards the bar which is making the value 51 and it is 51 so three digit numbers 8 5 1 if you see at 100 place Beads are making value 8. At 10th place, bead has value 5. At 1th place, bead has value 1. So this number has become 851 or 851. So now you can see if you are writing four digit number so three eight five one so at thousand place three lower beads are towards the bar so value is three at hundred place value is eight at tens place value is five and and at ones place value is one so so this number is four digit number and number is 3851. Look how to read if we talk about this number 3851. So there are two ways uh, to uh, reading this number. One is 3851 and second one is 3851. So to, uh, to read the number quickly, to use the second way that is quicker, 3851. So it will help us once we'll be doing addition and subtraction and other, other calculations on Abacus, it will help us uh, reading the number. So better we'll be using the way 3851 instead of 3851. So guys, I hope you would have liked this video. So please uh, talk to us, connect with us. We are there on mobile and WhatsApp. And please like this channel, subscribe this channel and share with your friends. So you can see, you can like it, you can subscribe it and you will also click on the bell button so that you can get all the notifications once we will be adding the new video and also you can share with your friends, once click your share you will see either you can share on whatsapp or facebook or twitter or wherever you like. Thank you guys, see you in the next video and in the next video we will be doing the exercise based on this uh, what we have learned in this session thank you and see you in the next video